change is what we need. This is time to possibly implement change. I just feel like we need lots of change. The slogan was the same as 2008, but the result of Tuesday's election was a polar opposite. For the first time in more than a century, the Republican Party has control of North Carolina's General Assembly. Now what? The first thing is balancing the budget without raising tax rates and that will be a real challenge. Representative Skip Stam will be a key leader when the General Assembly reconvenes in January. Political science professor Andy Taylor warns cutting the budget will be a challenge. It's going to take a, a strong will and I think it's going to take an intelligent plan. The budget is not the only priority. Stam is also an architect of the GOP's 100-day, 10-point plan. Along with balancing the state's budget, the plan calls on passing a bill to exempt North Carolinians from mandates in the health care reform law and eliminating the cap on charter schools and more. For the first time, Governor Purdue will have to work with Republicans. She's going to be a player. Uh, the question is how skillfully does she play her what is, a, you know, obviously a diminished uh, hand. Purdue spoke to Democratic supporters early on election night. She had an upbeat message for the party faithful before returns started painting the picture of change. Wednesday morning, she released a statement saying, I believe the General Assembly leadership will join me in my continuing efforts to grow jobs for North Carolinians, to set government straight, and to invest in the education of our future workforce. I'm very optimistic. She's announced a major effort on regulatory reform. She has announced a major effort on balancing the budget without raising the taxes, tax rates, and I'm uh, eager to see what she comes up with. It's been more than 100 years since Republicans held both chambers of the General Assembly. So the question is whether this is the dawn of a new era or a flash in the pan. Unless you have a winning message, unless the public trusts you, and unless you have very good candidates, uh, you're not going to get a majority in the General Assembly. For CarolinaJournal.tv, I'm Anthony Greco.